Good afternoon, homesteaders. It's starting to rain, and I'm sitting out here by the fire, trying to relax a little bit. Uh, it's time for that homestead shout-out. Uh, this week, it's, uh, oh my gosh, he provides homestead. Uh, it's Chico and Jerry. They're from Indiana. Uh, they're some really sensible, down-to-earth people, so we're going to give a big shout-out. Shout-out! Shout-out! So he provides homestead here in Indiana. Uh, there's some good people. They've, uh, just like the rest of us, trying to get by, to be healthy, uh, trying to be self-sustained. They've got some great videos on a lot of different subjects. So go over there and say hi to Chico and Jerry and check out their page. Uh, today we're going to be making butter. Oh, excuse me. We're going to be making pet butter. Because see, here in Indiana, our great legislatures think it's okay for us to have Roundup on our food by Monsanto, but we can't have butter or milk from cows uh, unless you buy it from a store. We have some good friends, some Amish friends of ours, that we buy organic milk from, and we take the cream off of, and then we make butter. And by Indiana, we can do that if this is all for our pets. So we got buy pet milk and make pet butter. And we're going to go inside here since the rain is picking up and my fire is probably going to go out. So we're going to go inside and make us some pet butter. All right, we're inside now. Um, there's a gallon of our pet milk uh, that we get. We pay, we're lucky, we're very fortunate, we pay $3 a gallon for this. And as you can see, the cream line on top of the milk is what we'll get the cream off the top, and that's what we make our butter out of. It's a shame that we have to do it this way. I guess the dairy industry or the dairy industry lobbyists uh, speak louder than people who want to buy organic raw milk. So we've got to go through this little game, jump through these little hoops, and call it all pet milk and pet butter. But that's a different story, and we'll get on that maybe another different time here. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is going to go ahead and take the cap off. And go ahead and skim the cream here off the top. No, oh, Bear, I don't need any help. And we'll fill it up, the Cuisinart right with cream up to this line here. They've got a cream mark for when you're doing liquid so it doesn't overflow. And that should about take it down to the milk line. Now go ahead and add salt. We use real salt, uh, R-E-A-L. You can look it up on Google. That's what it's called is real salt. Uh, we highly recommend you look this up. We buy this at the Amish grocery store. It's got like 56 different trace minerals in it. It is extremely good for you. So uh, go on Google, look. You can buy it online, or if you're fortunate enough, like us, uh, our uh, Amish grocery store down the road, they carry it. So we get it. We go ahead and salt this. And put the top on. And I'm going to turn on, during the week when we uh, drink milk, we go ahead and skim the top, the cream off the top, and then we put it in the refrigerator until it's time to make butter out of the deal. So I'm going to go ahead, start this up, let this turn it into butter, and I'll put that into the milk jug and put it in the refrigerator. So for $3, I'm going to get darn near a gallon of milk and fresh organic butter out of the deal for three bucks. So I'm going to start this now and we'll see what happens when it makes butter. I think we'll go ahead and check this now. I'm going to shut this off. has started making the butter in here so what I'm going to do is pour off some of this liquid 
which is the way. We give this to the dogs, so you're going to use every bit of this up. And as you can see, it is starting to make butter. I'll go ahead and add some more cream to it. salt and we'll start it back up and let her uh, spin around some more all right let's go ahead and check it again looks like it's made more butter boy it's noisy and yes it has Pour off the liquid. Now we're going to go over to the, here's the messy part too. We're going to go over here to the sink. going to scoop out the butter. I'm going to leave just a little in here because the next time when I add more cream in just now, it'll help bind to it and make this a quicker process. Take the butter and run it under cold water. I've made the mistake of turning it on hot water before. It doesn't work good. Alright, take the cold water and you'll split it open as you're rinsing. The reason you're doing this is you want to get all that extra waste stuff out of there that you can. I'll rinse it and squeeze it to see what color it is coming out. It's still got a little bit of that milky color to it. There, now it's starting to come out clear. And I'll put it in the old butter container. And there we have butter. So for three bucks, we've got this jug of milk and butter here. Organic, no chemicals, no pasteurizing, no homogenizing. So now I've got to get some warm water to get this grease off my hands. The dogs like licking your fingers while you're doing this too. So you got to make sure you keep washing them. So we'll take this back over here. Put it on, dump in more cream, more salt, remember real salt, look it up, get it. back on it and I'll go ahead and start it and keep repeating this process so we make a couple containers of butter we'll keep one out to use we'll freeze one of them um, so that's about all it but making butter is very very easy and if you can look around and find somebody with a cow to get you the milk and the cream go for it even though it's not supposed to happen it's for our pets remember that we're gonna feed our pets this when it's done uh, don't forget uh, on our uh, weekly shout out, go on over to He Provides Homestead. Shout out. And shout out. Give them a big shout out, a hello. Go see Chico and Jerry. Go check their page out. I'll put a link down below to their page. Um, don't forget to subscribe to ours, share it. If you want to get notified whenever we put it in uh, uh, a new video, Right next to the subscribe button is a little bell. If you'll click on that little bell, it'll notify you every time we put up a new video there. Uh, for any of you uh, people down there that might be in Florida or down in the Gulf, and we're not sure where this Irma is going to come ashore, please be safe. Get out of there. People are starting to leave now. The gas prices are getting jacked up. They're running out of gas. They're running out of gas. Uh, 
people are price gouging. It's just not the place to be. They're not sure where it's going to go. They don't know if it's going in the Gulf yet or if it's going to Florida. The Gulf has got another one started down over by Mexico heading up toward Texas. Begins with a K. Uh, so it's not worth it, to folks. So your stuff is just stuff. Make sure you're safe and you get out of there. So this is Jay. Amy's over there snapping her fingers at the dog because uh, they're bothering us because they're inside. Going to take off, make some more butter, and you have a good day.